Let me just uh, point out a couple of things here. One is this industry and it, actually the container business is facing some major challenges. One of them is loss. Second is traceability and trackability. And the third one is availability, because right now, you know, one of the biggest problems we have is there are not enough containers around the world to go around all the shipping lines to be able to use at this time. The question that I have is actually more of a, of a question rather than a comment uh, for Drew. What happens to the current and existing containers as they do exist today? So what would we do with them? Have there, has there been any thoughts to recycle or to redo or regenerate these containers to become a lot more efficient and more, maybe in your concept, more flexible to be able to collapse in, in such a way? As we know right now, there are millions and millions of containers in Jabal Ali alone. If we were to actually stack all the containers and, and, and put it, uh, you know, put them right behind each other, they actually be able to circle the earth around six times as many containers as they have that they do per year. So in that case, what happens to all these containers when we come up with new technology and new ways of reusing those containers or actually being able to have a more, more innovative solutions to use them? Well, you know, I'm familiar with that concept because I drive, as I drive around in America and you drive by farms, you see container after container in, on the farm, so they're using them from storage. We, we've looked um, at, at retrofit, and it's a difficult concept for us at this point in time because we are, our collapsible containers are built with panels. We don't have a continuous uh, steel side like you do on conventional containers. so. Our focus right now is on our existing technology, and uh, we think that we'll, we will branch off into other things. For example, high cube, maybe uh, you know TEU. But for now, our emphasis is on the quality and the durability and the strength of our existing containers. I don't have a solution other than building houses, which is happening in America a lot. I don't know if it's happening here, but uh, that's where we're at.